so this year I am giving up the crossbow and I wanted to give some reasons why and uh, to the other crossbow hunters out there why you may consider doing the same. Um, it's pretty simple reasons. There's two practical reasons and there's two personal reasons that I'm giving it up. And I was just going to go down the list of those reasons. Now I've been crossbow hunting for a long time now. It's been about 12 years and that's how I got introduced to bow hunting was with the crossbow. I was interested in just getting out and hunting. I wasn't really all that interested in the technicalities of bow hunting itself. Um, you know, learning about how to tune a bow and about arrow flight and you know all the different things that are involved in shooting a bow. I just wanted to get out and hunt deer and so that's what I've been doing for the past 10-12 years. I've been just learning how deer behave and learning habitats and how to really master the skill of hunting deer. Not really mastering the means of taking them. So like most people, I started off with a rifle as a kid. You know, my dad shot, taught me how to shoot rifles. Going out hunting really meant going out with a rifle. So naturally, picking up a crossbow would be pretty easy. It's just a bow on the frame of a rifle, obviously. So my first reason for making the switch has really been to expand my capabilities as a hunter. I'd like to one day be able to go bow hunting with a recurve bow. And I feel like the logical step in making that goal happen is learning to shoot a compound bow and being effective and efficient with it. And the second reason is just to expand my skill set as a hunter. You know, I want to be a more well-rounded hunter and having a variety of different means of taking game is part of that. It's part of the skills of a woodsman, woodscraft, and being a hunter. Now I've always used lower end crossbows. I, I'm not a rich person. I can't afford those high speed, low drag, you know, a thousand dollar plus crossbows that are out there now. You know, the technology is pretty wild and it's impressive. The capabilities of what the crossbows are able to do now. And I can see why it really upsets some people who uh, are against crossbow hunting in their states because you know, you've got uh, You've got really advanced capabilities. I'll just leave it at that. I understand that. But I can vouch for at least these cheaper ones that they're not magical weapons that make deer appear in front of you. And uh, you still got to be a skilled hunter to get deer within bow range for these kinds of bows. But yeah, I feel like I have mastered the crossbow at this point and I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to be a more well rounded hunter. And that's my second and last personal reason for wanting to make this switch. So yeah, just moving on to the more practical reasons of why I'm making the switch from a crossbow to a compound bow. And one of the biggest reasons is the weight. These things are about 11 pounds fully loaded out and that gets to be a lot whenever you're hiking miles and miles all over the place, different terrains and everything. As I always say, ounces are pounds whenever you're traveling, when you're backpacking anywhere. And a good compound bow is going to weigh maybe five, six, seven pounds, um, almost half the weight. That for me is a major selling point. I love the idea of things being lighter weight. I'm always trying to cut weight everywhere I can. And that makes a huge difference just on fatigue getting out in the woods. Because when you hike in a long ways, everybody knows that who's done it, that it makes it harder to hunt. You get all set up and you've just hiked in several miles and you're gonna be wore out, it's harder to focus, it's harder to pay attention to what's going on around you just because you're so fatigued. So weight is a huge one for me. I forgot to mention this at the beginning. Um, I really appreciate you watching. Every view matters to me. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's get back to the video. The second thing is the size. Now these things, they just take up a weird shape. The most affordable, in my opinion, crossbows that are out there are pretty unwieldy in shape. Um, it's hard to get through the woods carrying one of those things. They hang up on brush. They always stick out in a weird direction carrying them around. I keep a sling on mine and when I've got it slung over my shoulder it sticks out on the sides from the limbs and they make a lot of noise. So far what I've experienced with a compound bow is the upright nature of it when I'm carrying it or even have it rested over my shoulder. It doesn't get stuck on things and it doesn't break through twigs and brush and just make my 
overall profile lopsided and strange. Um, they're a lot more streamlined, so to speak. They are easier to cut through brush in, with. So yeah, I mean, given all these different factors, you know, I just want to be a better hunter. I want to be capable of eventually switching to shooting a recurve bow. The size and shape and weight of these crossbows are kind of inhibitors. You know, just all these given factors, I'm, I'm ready to make the switch this year. And anybody else who has considered it, I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's been a lot of fun learning the compound bow. And while I'm very new to it still, um, I found myself getting out and shooting 50 arrows almost every day. And it's just fun. I look forward to doing it in the evenings. I highly recommend it. Anybody who's shooting a crossbow, if you're looking for Maybe another challenge, looking for something to be excited for again, hunting and uh, going beyond what you've been doing. Give it a shot. Oh yeah, there was one last thing about crossbows that I forgot to add to my list, but I wanted to mention, and that is reloading. Um, I feel like, I haven't done it in practice yet, but I feel like reloading a compound bow is a lot more realistic than reloading a crossbow in the field. So you take a shot and you miss, well, from my experience, there's no way you're gonna reload the crossbow without being seen. That whole motion of having it down on the ground, the bow, the end of the bow, and then pulling up to redraw it, it clicking into place, and then putting your bolt on the rail is just, there's too much going on to realistically do that. But a compound bow, I feel like pulling another arrow out of your quiver and knocking it and drawing once again is a little bit more realistic there's you can get away with smaller profile movements with that than you can with a crossbow so i'll be curious to see if that works yeah, hopefully i don't ever have to hopefully i don't ever miss and need to reload but yeah um that could be one other thing that is to be considered yeah i want to throw that in there